Hey guys and welcome back to some more Subnautica uh, Where we left off um, I don't even remember It wasn't even that long It was literally earlier today I've forgotten um, But what I, I already have my tasks outside and knew what I was going to do today um, I need to get a battery recharger built uh, Because I now have the materials to do so And someone in the comments uh, on a previous episode said I need to use the iron battery that I have stored at my life pod uh, because it is five times stronger uh, than a normal battery and also with a battery recharger I can put that in there and it should keep recharging that um, so that's all well and good got a lot of inventory right now because I came back from the mountain have a ton of diamond, a ton of lithium so I need to put that in the rare stones locker however, rare stone locker is full so I've got too many rare stones and it's my alien one with all my alien stuff in it um, I can have a tablet haven't I? No. Um, and then this is more stones in here, more general stones. Uh, no salt. I wasn't looking for salt. Come on to get some water. Because 24. So what I should do real quick. Have I got the old titanium? I've got two of it, haven't I? Yep. Okay. So habitat builder. Uh, let's get myself another locker. These bloody lockers, mate. They, you really need to just have a ton of these. So another locker. In this locker, we shall put some more rare stones right now. Just have them all stored. There we go. That's all those. Nice, nice, nice. We have a new message as well, which I'll... Let's just play that. Let's just see what's going on today. This is Altera HQ. This may be your only communications window. We can't send a rescue ship all the way out there, so Aurora, you're just going to have to meet us halfway. We've uploaded blueprints to the ship's We're computer. A sandwich run, you in? Uh, yeah, give me a second. Black box data shows the high security terminal in the captain's quarters is still functional. Becky's leaving like in five minutes. All right, well, tell Becky I'll just take the the regular. The regular. Yeah, she'll know what I mean. The code should Maybe be. She doesn't. Just tell her the regular, dude. Okay. The if code. I say regular, and she's like, what's the regular? The code. Come all the way back up here. The code should be two six seven nine. The regular is just a ham and cheese. Okay, would you just say ham and cheese? Ham and cheese. Okay. Just in case. Seek fluid intake. Just in case. <laughs> I just didn't trust this game to give it to me. Um, so I need to, to get bleach, I need some salt. I don't have any salt left. Because I've been ignoring all the salt that I've seen. So I might have to go out there and get myself some bladder fish again. Get, let me get a peeper real quick. I've like destroyed the peeper population around here. Right, let's so go out on a salt run real quick. Try and get some salts and get some bleach to make some nice water for myself. Where was there? What's a good location for salt? Uh, that's the alien building. So the aurora is this way. Right in places like this. I've been in it. Be hard to like. I wish you could mark places easily to say you've been there. It wasn't, I guess beacons are the easy way of doing that, but it'd be a bit annoying to mark stuff like, you've searched this. <laughs> Mate, is there some beef going on right now? What has occurred there? I, I feel like I almost got attacked by a little bladder fish. Mate, what's going on? So I think I just came along then. I'm going nuts. Right, bladderfish. There's three bladderfish. That can be 60 plus water. It's not disinfected, but it's water. I should really try and get some salt. Because this whole bladderfish life isn't. This lifestyle's not working. And someone did comment saying, um, can I go out and farm some food and water? Because. Obviously, it's a bit tedious watching me go and get like food, food and drink all the time. Um, so uh, I'm fully keen to do that. I'm happy to do that if you want me to. Uh, I know some people are like, it's one of those, things, it's one of those divided opinions where some people want to see everything, some people are happy just to skip some sections out that are a bit boring. Um, but I fully agree with you. I understand what you mean. Because I understand this is a bit slower. Like, I could have gone out and gone objective straight away right now, couldn't I? If I'd already stocked up on the food and drink prior to recording this episode. Um, which I was going to try and do, but I am pre-recording right now, like I said in the previous episode, because Jay's fights at the weekend, and we're very, very busy all around that. 
Um, so for future episodes, I will try and ensure I have some kind of like new system set up with food and water. Just so, or at least start the episode with a good supply of food and water for that episode alone. I have many, many plans for this, for this series. Just need to get more progress going on. Anyway, let's just leave this here. I don't even need to put it back in. I'll leave it there. So, let me get my base, please. So, look. First aid kit for one. I'm hungry, so I should really eat. But fabricates are. Let's get myself some waters. Thank you. Here's one. Here's two. Three. Four. I can make bleach, to be fair, so I don't know why I've done what I just did. Seems a bit silly. Vital signs stabilizing. For future, um, I have cold tube samples right here. So let's take all these. Bleach one. Bleach two. Bleach three. And then from there we go, water disinfected. Mix two of these as well, so I have six bottles of water. So that's really good. Right, so now we've got that stuff. I'm gonna get some food on the way out. Very easy to do though, just you know, firm a blade. I've got a firm blade in here, I don't need, right? Is it just, no, that is the one, okay. Um, so what I was going to do, alien, take this iron cube here. Uh, and I'm gonna take this to the, I'm gonna take one tablet as well with me. So the aim is to take this to the mountain, the iron cube, take it to the mountain because there does appear to be a place where I can put it as we saw in the last episode and I'm sure you guys commented the same too. So I saw someone in the, pre the previous episode to this one, which I've not seen the comments for yet. Um, but two, two episodes ago, from what you're seeing, uh, some of the comments saying to, I'm going mountain this way. Um, somebody comments saying to take it there, so I'm going to do so. We'll see what we can find. Hopefully this ain't good. We're not, we're not gonna find anything. Hopefully this ain't good happens, I mean. There's salt around here. It's a good spot for salt here. Um, Pooh worth marking. I don't know what I pick up now. This has not been an idiot, right? It's fine, I know where it is. And I'm sure salt is going to be something that's going to be hard to find on a regular basis. What is this? This, this looks cool. That looks worth checking out. Flash metal salvage, yeah? Giant coral tubes. No, it's just. It's just a cool set of tubes. Mate, is that a stalker? You just come out of nowhere. On the job. Is that a sea glide? Yeah. Little cases with some quartz down there. Check it out while we're on our way. And titanium. Creature egg. Quartz. Oh shit. Oh shit, where is it? I actually avoid it by going straight into it, which is kind of strange. It happened again as well. Um, I'm evidently lost right now. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Josh? He's not good. Ah, oh, thank God. That, too scary. 
some bladder fish here. See about caves though, I've always said it. You can get lost in a cave so easily just because it all looks the same. It's really hard to actually have bearings. Maybe in like hindsight when watching the video it'll be easier because you're just not, where you're focusing is different. And things are all typically always easier when watching watch video. I'm the same, like I'll watch a video of someone playing any game and I'm like, how the fuck do you not see that? And then when you actually do it yourself, it's very easy to miss. Oh god. Um. Well, that's way to damage your vehicle a little bit. Probably ran this bit before, haven't I? Like I have. Yeah, like I should put beacons down, like mark and mark it for a certain colour and say seen. Like, if I, every time I see something, I'm like, have I seen that yet? You must just get tedious. My depth. There we go. Let's get, let's get up as high as possible because that reaper is around here. We've seen it around here, and I'm not down for that anymore. Oh, I forgot. I should have bought first aid kits to me because bloody crabs. If I just crash straight into my beacon, if I just wiped it out. It's still working, mate. It's still working, cool. Should have brought a flashlight with me. Huh? Use a light. Oh, wait, one thing I want to change, actually. Uh, escape options, field of view. Let's go to like that. It's a bit of an increase. I don't want to change it drastically for you too much. But higher hood is much better. So I can just see more around me. I don't ever get in that, that life pod, because that life pod's in a, in a bad place. I can go check it out again, but it didn't look like it was worth going to check out. There was a serious amount of stuff around it. So we have to go all the way to the top up here. And from there. This isn't the way I went last time. Where's that room that I went to last time? Issue these bloody cave systems. Down here, along here. As yet, I didn't go up there, I went through here. Like so. And then we get out our iron cube. Insert iron cube. Um. I don't know if I should have done that. What? Wait, 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 wait. Alien buildings, that, 2,500 meters away, what the f I just teleported somewhere, ain't I? Huh? I'm fully somewhere else. Pick up pink cap. What? Huh? Pick up speckled rattler. 
I pick these things up now. I am somewhere else. What? So that they act as teleporters to other places. So there's also one inside the other built in the building. I should have two cubes with me. Oh my god. Wow. Well. Bulbo tree. Picking up multiple energy signatures What's on the island's there? surface. Huh? Thing is, I need to not get lost here, mate, because huh? huh? I get stuck. I haven't got a seam off here. How much food? Crap. I should want food with me. Up there seems cool. I don't know what it is, but it seems cool. Huh? Huh? And up there. Huh? 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 Who needs to go? Look, I can climb mountains like this. Get me up. I fully can do it. Yes. I'm going to make it up here. I know what. I'm really excited. Oh my god, look. There's the Aurora. We're on a whole... Oh my god, more down there. Oh. This is cool. Bulkhead. I'm scanning a bulkhead. I don't know what bulkhead is, but I'm scanning it. Bulkhead door. Blueprint oh, yeah. Acquired. Give me some food. Indoor grow bed. Ah. Mm -hmm. oh. Someone's commented about that. Means I can grow stuff. Acquired. As it says by its title, as you can tell. Observatory. Turn palm. Blueprint. Many blueprints acquired. Or added. Lantern tree. Calorie intake recommended. Oh crap. Oh PDA. Return from the deep. This is the first time I've seen sunlight in months. After all that time in the deep, I'd been dreaming of it. Now that I'm back here, <sighs> I'm finding it hard to enjoy alone. Father was right. We should never have left this place. We shouldn't have gone so deep. They do not want us down there. Despite my best efforts, ill health is taking hold of me. The visions are getting worse. Marguerite and Father are now part of the ecosystem of this incredible planet. It's reassuring to know that when I go, I'll join them. Until then, well. There's always the view. That's in the trailer. New blueprint acquired. Not your purpose room. I honestly don't want to go to food. I might have to go up into the city and get some bits real quick. New blueprint. Exterior acquired. grow bed. All these grow beds. Ming plant. Oh shit, I need a beach. I really need a beach, guys. Like, really badly. Signal location uploaded to PDA. You see, Chief, you brought us to this sodden planet. Told us we'd see a lush payday. Now what do we got some six weeks later? Dead crew, a habitat that's half buried, food washed away. I suppose the executive decisions would be better left to someone with your extensive experience of hitting people in the face. I know enough not to take unscheduled detours to uncharted planets. That's something you don't want to learn the hard way. Easy to judge a decision in hindsight. Harder to come up with a plan of your own. Got one already. Take what we can carry and hunker down in a cave somewhere. I scouted a site, a couple hundred meters deep, 
Lots of metal deposits. How do you imagine we'd live? With ready access to building materials, like damn queens. A couple of water filters, a bioreactor, fresh fish. But Chief, we'll eat seaweed salad and drink our own urine if that's what it takes. All that matters is, do you got something better? Send the coordinates to my PDA. I'll review your proposal. Vital signs. So I was being quiet so you could hear that. Look at this, look at these melons, look. H2O, H2O 14, food 12. They replace both. Even lantern fruit does the same. Oh my god. Unpowered. I run out of battery on my scanner! Of all times! Wait, oh shh balls. There's there's a new one in my seam off, there's another one. So I need to go back. I need a scanner. It's very important times. Blueprint galore over here. What way is back? This is some Massive island. This is like, wait, is this the same one? All right, I don't know if it, Wait. I don't know if it's the same place or not, I'm baffled. It is. So I need to go... To that night, no. What? Am I like... Hallucinating? I've been here. I know I've been here. So where did I come from? Because I saw these two mountains. Did I not? No, I didn't. Out there. Not gonna lie, my Lee will be lost. Because <laughs> that's the place I came out of, then. Okay. Let's just relax and focus. Wonder through all of this. Oh, I should have put a beacon down. Really should have put a beacon down. I really, really should have put a beacon down. I've made it up here. Pick up Chinese potato. I can't scan this. This island is a godsend. Look out of the window. No predators. Fresh food. No building materials, nothing left of the ship. And your kid says we're gonna starve without more grow beds. Speak up, kid. It's true, father. The natural growth rates are too slow to keep supporting us. All I'm saying is oceans got us surrounded. No use hiding. Sooner or later, we'll get our feet wet. The rest of your life may have been a fight made up, but I've made my decision. You wanna forfeit your emergency pay to take a swim? Go ahead. Believe me, I'm thinking on it.
Where did I come out of? So that's why I went up, right? But I was... Did I not come out of a mountain? Maybe I just come out of a straight area. Sounds like it's down here. I can hear it. Maybe I'm going nuts, but I can. There's a noise around here somewhere. Well, this is the most frustrating thing that's ever happened. Yes. Yes. I knew it. You can hear it. Okay. So. Uh, beacon. And a beacon is going to say... Island teleporter. Okay. So what we're doing is we're going to go back in the teleporter. Hopefully it's more than a one-time use. So that's something we need to consider. Go back to the seam off. Collect the new scanner that I've got. So I've got another scanner in the storage part of that. Collect that scanner and then come back here. Same island, right? Yep, making sure. I'm going to get my scanner out. So it's ready to swap. How mad though. This game's full of surprises. Maybe not to you guys who have seen this game before, I don't know. Like, I didn't even think that was teleporting now. I should have thought it was. I feel like it seems quite obvious to me now. I guess I'm just enjoying the game. I'm not trying to predict what's going to happen. I'm just straight enjoying it. But the storyline so far, in case anyone, anyone's not really followed the game, um, we are. Uh, we were on a ship called Aurora. We obviously la this, is how, this is obviously how I'm seeing it. I could be wrong. Um, we are a ship called Aurora. We have landed here. Um, well, I say landed here. We crash landed here. Now, we saw what happened to where, uh, the, the uh, ship called Sunbeam tried to save us. We saw what happened to that Sunbeam. We got shot down by this building, which seems to be serving as like a gun and shot them down. Which probably is the same thing that happened to us. And there's, and there's obviously been people here before me and... People here before me have spoken about an illness. Uh, I apparently am infected as well with said illness. So I'm guessing, basically, with this game, I either need to find a cure for said illness or I need to get off of this island. I said the island's under quarantine. So I think the island's under quarantine and that gun is there to stop people getting out of the island and into the island because we're under quarantine. Now, I could be wrong, but that's how I've taken this game so far. You tell me. What do you think? Am I right? I hope I'm right. Uh, see, I see I have a 29%, you know. Crap. Well, who cares? We're off. We're going back. Got a new scanner. I'm here to scan. I'm ready to rock and roll. New scanner incoming. Got a whole island to search. Full of new materials and new stuff. Like... That should help with a lot of things. Can build an obs observatory now, multi-purpose room, an interior grow farm, something exterior one as well. There's nothing to hurt me on that island. Is that a pretty cool island? But how would you get on it normally? I was thinking that right, because this island, there's no, there's no beaches as far as I saw. So how was I mean this I guess is the only way I get on this island? But someone said to me to go to this island. And this is another one. Is there three islands? Maybe people just forgot that you had to do that. And there's a habitat I need to go to. Proposed to gassy habitat. 
There's obviously some more PDAs I've missed out on, so I need to go and check that whole uh, island out again properly. Scan a lot of stuff. There's one or more of those, like, little buildings I need to go and scan. We got our beacon down here, so hopefully um, we have less chance of getting lost now. Wait, why is... Why is beacon down there? Did I come from a different route last time? Where's the way? Where do I come out? I come out. Okay, I can go that way. So I went around here. I came out this way. Now we can use my sea glide, right? But it's quite low on power, so I probably shouldn't use it. So I'm just going to try it. I'm sorry if it's dark for you guys. I hope it shouldn't be that dark. Is there a beach this way? Okay, so there is an entry point. So it is a way on and off the island. Okay. Time to get scanning. We like somebody at the supermarket to scan all my items of the new quick scan system some of them have go around to scan it, beep everything, just scan it all wherever I can, nothing's allowed to be scanned right now for some reason first I got, I got my way over this way haven't I, I got my way to this side oh, Jaffa cup make Jaffa cakes oh, mean plant Give it a little scan. So I'm guessing I can just... Oh, God. <gasps> Thanks down there. There's PDAs. More story to be found. Let's try to find it. I have to go down here. There's a cave system this way. Ah, I thought there was no animals on this island to hurt me. There's these bloody things. What is this? Exterior grow bed. That's some clapped up one. That's my purpose room. We've done it already. Wall planter. Like that, here we are. PDA. Paul Targal's log. Chief's log, five weeks since the crash. The only other survivors are my son, Bart, and Mida, the cut price mercenary I commissioned for the journey. After days drifting in the life pod, rain hammering on the roof, the weather cleared and we washed up here. I had Mida salvage the Degazi wreck, set Bart to finding us a stable source of food. His education is paying off sooner than I'd anticipated. Our only problem is Maida. She says the weather's going to turn. I say she's finding excuses to risk our lives. I imagine she's not gonna weaken her life without a physical altercation, and she's itching for a fight. In every judgment she makes, things go from bad to worse. If she had my experience, she'd have more faith. Humans have spent millennia specializing in how to shackle nature to our will. <laughs> this planet won't cause us any new problems. My one task now is to keep us alive, as comfortably as possible, until the insurance company arranges rescue. In this part of space, that could be months, or even years. Okay. There's that PDA, and there's another one. So go this one, never quick. The gassy voice log, curious discovery. New 
PDA data. What is that thing? I don't know. I found it outside in the sand. Uh, part of another ship? None I've ever seen. It's not even scratched. Uh, uh, don't fool around with it. It might be worth something. Stand down, it's a tablet. If it were going to crumble to dust, it would have done so when I picked yeah. it up. It's glowing. We're not the first people to come to this planet. People? Maybe. Could be aliens. Could be the damn sea monsters for all we know. One thing for sure, we ain't gonna find out by staying here. Oh, well, they might have found out, because they ain't about no more. And the gassy voice log number two, Storm. New PDA data. Son. I said wait for the storm to pass. Your life's more valuable to me than a plant patch. You stop being in charge when the ship you were captaining sunk. Ooh, I'll stop nasty. being in charge when you take charge of yourself. Ooh. Say, Chief. Chief. What? Do you know how to drain those grow beds of 40 tons of storm water? Or how to conjure food from the air? I know how to prioritize. I'm just saying, if that's so, What's your boy's life worth to you today? If tomorrow you're going to be so hungry you start wondering what it tastes like, let him go deal with the plants. Son, go deal with the plants. Bart, Torgo has disembarked the habitat. Interfere with my family again, and when rescue arrives, I will leave you here. Hmm? Do you understand me? No rescue coming, Chief. Not in time. No staying here neither. This rain keeps falling. Sooner or later, this place will be buried. The only choice we got is whether to get buried with it. Where are all these people? Like, if there were all these people on this island and stuff, where have they suddenly just disappeared to? And what is it I can scan around here that keeps popping up? Grub basket. Like me a good grub basket. I'm trying to find these caves that lead down to the bottom bit. Huh? Huh? There's some sort of cave huh? system huh? somewhere that leads. This is going on the mountain, isn't it? Because there was a PDA right down there. I don't want to find it. I want to develop the story even more. I think you have to jump for the water. Which is actually a way down. Huh? Oh, it's got to be a way down, surely. Huh? Some cave openings down there. I might risk it. Huh? Geronimo! Worth, hopefully. Rendezvous voice log. Integrating new PDA data. We have to board the Aurora, repair the long range comms, make contact with the other survivors. We can't be the only two that made it. Those are not the orders the captain gave me, and they are not the orders I'm giving you. This isn't chain of command, it's survival. My obligations as acting commander don't turn on their convenience. Get out of the water. If I get into trouble, I'll send you my coordinates. I can't let you go alone. Then come with me. You don't leave me much choice. Received emergency transmission from 2nd Officer Keen, two hours after last activity. Rendezvous was a failure. Intercepted a transmission from Altera HQ. Seems they sent a data package to the Aurora. We were intercepted by a Leviathan-class predator before we could reach the ship. Consider the CTO and I lost at sea. Be safe. Huh? Keen. Out. Oh shit. It's been like Keen died. Or... I mean, you got intercepted. By a bloody huh? Reaper. <gasps> hey, what the f... Does that just been falling? Huh? Huh? Wow, this has been a... A pretty nuts episode. They didn't expect this to happen in this episode, but it did. And I think... I think I've done a decent job at searching this island for now. Maybe I've missed something. I don't know. We're going to head back 
to our seam off. We're going to go back with our new stuff. Let's see what we can do. Found a lot of stuff there, though. I definitely should have... I might have to get another iron cube. Maybe when I'm, maybe when I'm over this side, I'll check. Because I think... There's another one of these gates in the building. If I can put an iron cube in there as well, then I should make another teleporter. It might take me somewhere else. We know this one exists. We know where this one is. So that's all fine. That's all well and good. Gets more and more interesting every time, doesn't it? Some free gold whilst we're at it. Calorie intake recommended. Ah, oh, I probably should, should have eaten when on that island that was filled with like tons of food. It would have made a lot of sense, right? Oh god, what's this way? What is that? Okay, there's some other route. I always see different like nooks and crannies you can find. That's while searching. So yes, I'm gonna go into this building real quick. Just to find the other gate. And if there is actually no, before I do that, I should probably find a peeper or something to eat, right? Because I am hungry. And that's never good. Around here is scary as well. I see a peeper. <gasps> oh. There's a peeper right here, I saw him. If you don't. Vital signs stabilizing. If you don't stray too far from the, this part, we should be fine. Is there a, oh god. Unlucky. Peepers or anything I can eat around here? What are these ones? Come on, I need a peeper. So I've got enough time, I've got enough time of an eye to go. Down there real quick. I, I, I kind of want to risk it and go down there. Oh, peeper. How are you alive? Thank you. Yeah, because look, right? That isn't part of this. That's some other building. Right, we'll go check this out quickly. See if we can find the place to put the iron cube. I collected, I collected all the iron cubes from inside here anyway. So I don't really think... There wasn't there was one of those... Maybe, no, 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 this is going to be the receiving end of the teleporter. That's what it's going to be. Oh, God. Mad, I was fully about to kill myself. But yeah, I think this will be the receiving end of the portal. So there'll be another portal somewhere else. It will bring me over to here. Because that only seems to make sense. I didn't got an iron cube here, so if there is one, I haven't got a chance to do anything with it. So we're in the same building right now. We've gone down quite far. So 
I assume that this moon pool here is the same, it's a separate, it's not a separate building, it's the same one. It's made for the Cyclops, and I need to get a Cyclops to bring that here. Must be the next mission is to try and find all the Cyclops parts and build the submarine. I think that's the only thing, next thing I need to do, really. That was an iron cube. Yeah, so there's not look, so there's nowhere to put the iron there's nowhere to put the iron cube here. Yeah, no, it's just this is the receiving point of it. So I, I, I want to activate another teleport over here and take me there. That was a pointless excursion down here. I do apologize for wasting your time. So we're back over at our base, a little bit of editing, just to cut a bit out for you. Just save yourself some time while watching. Um, so we put this back on charge. I need to repair it as well. It's not the best state. He's got 38 health. There's my repair tool at. Uh, repair tool. Give your boy a little repair. There we go. Yeah, back into here. We've got a new message as well. High priority automated message from Aurora Live Pod 13. Live Pod 13. Attack. Live Pod is carrying high priority passenger. Yoki Kassar. I said Kassar. Why do I have to record this anyway? Send immediate burial detail. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Um. Oh, got a photo. That's my, that's my thumb now. Uh, that's it, a yellow beacon. So I need to. If I've seen them, I should make it sound cool, shouldn't I? If I've seen them, I should make the orange. 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 So this is the one. Carrying high priority passengers remains. Okay. So I've come back here. And what is my mission when I've come back here? What are, what are my plans here? Give myself some water again. I need to get some food around me. I put some diamond into this locker. Uh, I can put some gold in there. Got copping out on me, but I don't really need that for anything. So what I could do right now, that I can build a lot more stuff. So I should put interiors only, so I can build an indoor grow bed. It's, I still haven't, I still haven't got the things this modification station, which I do need. Um. Pure decorational, wall planted, wall mounted foliage. So that's not good for me. Bulkhead provides structural support and prevents flooding. So it's like a hatch, basically, right? Exterior modules, exterior grow bed. Uh, I can grow me some plants. Two titanium spotlight, floodlights. Power extends the range of a power source. Base pieces, observatory. Part of a free to do a very low structural integrity. Multi purpose room. I might be able to scan a room. Locate was also in Rex room range, right? So I can get titanium times five, copper ore times two, and gold times one. That's an easy build. Let's do that real quick. So gold times one, titanium times five, I believe, was it? Got one right now. Stone. Five. And it was how much copper was it? Gold done that part. More copper. Copper in this one. I've not got copper. Now 
enamel glass, stalker tooth and glass. And you get a stalker tooth? You mad? How does one do that? I just go up to a, go, just go up to a stalker and just say, yeah, thank you, mate. I'll have your tooth if possible. No reason why, I just need it. So it gets me enameled glass. A creature decoy I need to use when going towards the Aurora. I need to go to Aurora soon as well. A lot of things I need to be doing in this game. Um, okay, so I want to get this Cyclops. I need to get all these parts. I've got one or three for most of them. A scanner room. Uh, so I need two copper and some table coral. So to me, I have no other copper anywhere. I have that bit of copper and that's it. I don't believe that. But it's looking like that is the case. Mad. How did that happen? Well, let me go out and get a table coral sample and some copper then. Also, to point out, if I got to get in this bloody thing. Why is it doing this to me? I just want to get in the sea moth. I think you're supposed to get in it like this every time. I need to connect it to... I'm going to, I'm going to completely rebuild my base as a whole. Okay, it's not a very good base right now. Right, copper would be in a cave. What I was, was going to say is this supposed like, where is it? Is it? No, it's down. That Degazi, whatever his name is, his habitat, proposed habitat, is really close to us. That's a long way away, that one, isn't it? One to... Ew, that's one, one, five. I'm saying really close to us. I've lost it now, but it is really close to us, trust me. I might just go to this... I might just go over here. Whilst we're doing the one thing, let's go get some table coral. Which is right here. I'm all wrap that. Let's go and find some copper whilst on the way down here. Because what are these remains that are so useful? So 600 meters. So it's actually all the way by the tree. It's next to the tree of life. Have I already seen this life pod? It would stand to reason that I may have seen it, right? Because it's next to the tree of life. So I'm sure I didn't, didn't miss it. So I, didn't, I guess I could have explored this hell area a lot more. I was a bit too excited by the diamonds at, at the time. Yeah, this biome was cool. It's right next to the Tree of Life. I have to have seen this life pod. Right, look, it was there. I, I cannot have missed this. Oh my god, I definitely have missed this. Wow. Passing 100 meters, oxygen efficiency decreased. No, I have I've have found this before. It's ultra glide fins. There's a PDA in here though. Into Live pod launch sequence initiated. Entering planetary atmosphere. My creators, the cherishers and sustainers of worlds, give me this day my daily pleasures as I give to those who seek pleasures from me. External temperature approaching critical levels. Show me the path in life, truth, and love for mine is the power. I am the one. On and off and on again. Life is a game which I 
which the universe plays with itself. I am done playing as this bundle of flesh. Return me. Well, he went out in pretty spectacular fashion. Oh, yeah, that's some, that's some shale out crop right there. That's some rare item. Lithium. I too much lithium. I don't need lithium. Oh, that could, is that, that's not copper, is it? Copper's in the crappy one. Yeah, I need to get limestone. Limestone outcrop, so the ones that aren't smooth. But yeah, what I was gonna say is that this Degrassi, this Degrassi habitat is this way. And that is like directly underneath my base. This proposed habitat, whatever it may be. Mine. That could have been awfully dangerous. Um, this way. Hey, look. What was that? Oh, I've seen this before. Oh, God. But yeah, look. This Degasi habitat over here. I want to check this out. I've got a feeling it's in the cave that we've seen before. Because someone said there's a cave that I had seen. And it was part of the story if I went down there. So I feel like this could be the one. We'll have a little look, won't we? See what it's saying. Although I have not found any copper yet, which is the whole kind of reasons why I left the base in the first place. So I need to find some copper. I need to return with copper. Only be, they appear in certain biomes. Come on, sandstone, where are you? The habitat's down there. Where is that? Sandstone, anyone? Today. Yes. Oh shit, you are catching me today. Not today. I see another one there. Not today, little boys. Let me just go through this whole thing real quick. Where does this lead? Been here before? Copper, there we go. Titanium. Copper. I might as well just collect it whilst I'm here in case I need some more. Copper. Titanium. This place is cool though, whatever it is. Should I go further this way? Can I get out of here safely? Go on, risk it. Good driving. Yes, this habitat's here, look. Proposed the Gazi habitat. Where is it? Down here somewhere. What? How do I get down there? I'm gonna fall off here. Yeah, we go. I think it is where I think it is. Yeah, it's exactly where I thought it was. Look down here. It's that crate. Oh, oh. There's all those ills again. Look. 
Mate, those things look scary. But yeah. He built a sick. Oh god. Let's, let's find my way in. Let's be quick about this. The conditions in this cave support a microcosm of unique, possibly predatory life forms. Detecting an artificial structure somewhere in the region. Yep, you got that right. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Passing 200 meters. Oxygen efficiency greatly decreased. Water filtration machine. Now that sounds exciting. You know what? Rebreather on? Because it's not radiation. Radiators. Let me go back out here real quick. Let me get my oxygen replenished. Right. Let's get back out. PDA. Son, there is always a pecking order. And in our world, money makes a hierarchy. I pay Maida a fraction of what I pay you, and you a fraction of what I pay me. If money makes the hierarchy, why is Marguerite making the decisions? We need her. We let her think what she likes, so long as she does what she's told. And what if she doesn't? <laughs> For enough money, she will. People always do. I thought we bad. I mean, guess what? What what does he pay? Money just basically to say like the money, pay money pays isn't enough, but he knows that. Got that ready, haven't I? Yep. Deeper. We're already two hundred meters below sea level. You want to go deeper? Look around us, Chief. Water leaking through the hull. Water outside the hatch. We're drowning real slow. If rescue arrives, whatever shot us down, it's going to do it again and again until it's shut off. You see an off switch around here, Chief? Why would it any more likely be half a kilometer down? Your kid found something on the scanner. There's something down there. Something that shouldn't be. <laughs> You're mad. I'm going all the same. And I have an idea you two are going to follow. But if you do, be mindful. Your authority stopped at sea level. Alright, she's getting brave, mate. Don't be having it. Oh, I keep doing that to myself. I've really hurt myself, actually. Why's my calorie intake going down so fast? Okay, I need to go up to get fish. I shall return. Oh, mate. Is that a peeper? Peeper. It's a different kind of peeper. Just get up. Quick, 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 quick. Man's getting way too hungry. Oh god. Uh, radiation helmet on. And go, 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 go. Peeper, peeper. Mate, 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 mate. Come off it with that. Wait, anything right now? Anything? Anything? I don't care, let me eat something.
Ah. What's a man got to do to eat him? Peace out here. Oh, come on with that peeper. It's dodgy. I know, I know. I'm trying to eat. Vital signs stabilizing. These fish are getting better of me right now. They will know I'm coming. Sneak attack. Not you again. Welcome aboard, Captain. Okay. There we go. Peepers are really good for food. So down here, have I got a beacon left? Yes. Put a beacon down. Because I think now I found it, it's no longer stating its proposed location. It's just things I know. Once I pretty once I've done here, I'm kind of done, I guess, right? But it probably leads on to further, so I might as well. There's more down here than it meets the eye. There's some PDAs need to listen to still. Passing 200 meters, oxygen efficiency greatly decreased. You really hurt yourself. You like poison yourself. it might get claustrophobic living underwater. Father feels it is. He'd tell me it was childish, but I stare out the window and sometimes I think how lucky I am to see this world up close. Back on the island, I wouldn't have believed the creatures that live down here. The fish, they glow. There's one that's 90% eyeball. Snakes twice the length of a habitat compartment. Certainly, it's not all friendly. Most of the plant life is toxic learn that the hard way but I've managed to coax some marble melons into growing indoors and when they don't cover our dietary needs well we eat seconds. the fish themselves it's a bit gross but it's nothing they wouldn't do I've been attempting to document my findings father approves he says understanding is power that the more we know about this planet the more we can use it to our advantage I'm just doing it because it's fun it's not easy without proper equipment and network access, but the old-fashioned way, observing, taking notes, testing theories, shows me the world in a way a spectroscopic analysis never could. Lately, I've been watching the crab snakes. They ambush their prey as it tries to feed on the mushrooms they hide in. What they don't eat settles on the seabed, which fertilizes the mushrooms, which feeds the herbivores, and so the chain continues. Coevolution gives me the fuzzies. Wow, that's, that's, he just towered me in the face. This guy really loves his stuff, mate. Nuclear reactor fragment. One of three. Cave bush. Fully on a scanning. This has been, a, this has been another nuts episode. So much stuff's happened. I just checked how long we were recording for, and it's suddenly like, oh wow, we've been recording for a long time. And oh, that's that alien rifle. Power cell charger fragment. So much stuff. Fell papyrus. I'm gonna write some scrolls, yeah? I'm gonna write some stuff. Thermal plant fragment. Saturated titanium. Magnetite. Ah. 
That's where magnetite's from. Might have to come down another time. I might, might just. There's more PDAs we can listen to before this episode. I'm gonna have to come down another time and explore some more. Signal PDA here. To PDA. Oh. You know what Maida told me today? She wants to build a habitat 500 meters below sea level, more than a kilometer northeast of here. Oh my God, she needs Bart and I to do it. She's got it into her head that she can save us if she just acts recklessly enough. But I've hauled Star Wars to Neptune, Plasteel to the Federation. 30 seconds. <sighs> this family operates nine different mining colonies across the Ariadne Arm. Made her think she's better suited to lead. Her contract still says otherwise. You. Well, I just cannot damn well tell whether it's the stupidest idea I ever heard. Or my only hope. I turned 80 years old last week. I Man thought right. I had another 80 in me, but marooned on this planet, there's no swapping out of my liver when the old one fails. Here, I'm mortal. And Maida is useful. So, it's my responsibility to make a decision. Return to the island trusts, and hope uh... whatever not that the Ghazi out of the sky won't do the same to the rescue ship. Or take us deeper in search of answers. And all the while be hoping old age gets me before the sea monsters do. I'll give Maida just one thing. She was right about these caves. There's enough lithium there to fabricate a hundred tons of plasteel. Enough for a damn fleet of Cyclops submarines. So lithium makes plasteel. There was nothing anyone could have done to avoid crashing here. But I was right to order the detour. If we get off this planet... They'll be talking about the Torgel share price on the other side of the Federation. <laughs> and the last one. Integrating new PDA data. Something incredible just happened. Since we're down here, I had this plan to build equipment and study the life forms we were encountering. But I didn't have enough enameled glass. So. I started looking for a natural substrate that would strengthen the glass we have. And those stalker teeth we've been finding fit the bill. Only, well, we needed more. That's where Marguerite got interested. She actually listened to me. More than I can say for father. And I worked up the courage to talk about my more tentative theories. When I told her they were attracted to metal deposits, that their teeth get dislodged when they pick them up, her eyes narrowed and she dashed out of the room. Three hours later, she came back, her pack loaded down with stalker teeth. I asked her about it. She shrugged and said my theories were good. Said she had the meeting out of the palm of her hand. I think she meant it literally. She is incredible. She went out to the kelp forest armed with just a heat blade and went fin to fin with a pack of stalkers. On the one hand, that is the coolest thing I have ever heard. On the other... Well, I hope the stalkers didn't come off worse than Marguerite did. She had a huge gash on her forearm. I don't think things went as smoothly as she made out. Neither do I, mate. Surviving here, if we have to kill everything that makes it so wonderful. I wish I knew more about these animals. But Father won't let me leave the habitat. Maybe with all this glass, we could build a containment unit and get up close to them. New blueprint acquired. Ooh. Put this magnetite. Let's throw away the quartz, right? Because quartz I can get. This ain't bad happening. Why? PDA here, right? Oh, this is, this is Margaret's log. Um, guys, guys. I see moth. I see moth. I see moth. I touched a magnet. I see moth. Again. Okay. Radiation helmet. Yep, got you. I see moth. 
It just straight came from our seam off. It just ran a train through it. Well, I think that's one way to end this episode. I want to listen to Martha's log real quick though, because I was getting interested. Wait, no, there. Let me just get to my uh, base. Looks like I'm making a seam off at the start of the next episode. <laughs> oh dear. Well, this exploring never works out well, does it? Um, okay. Data bank. I need to find the gassy survivors. Uh, it is this one. These conniving, corporate, bourgeois, inbred, incompetent, self-absorbed jerks don't have a damn clue. The kid's not so bad. He's even useful. But I swear, everything that comes out of his father's idiot face is a narcissistic lie. He wants to stay in this cave? His problem. I'm the one doing the heavy lifting. When sea monsters are hunting you, you don't hide. You hunt the sea monsters. Then you build a bigger boat out of sea monster bones and you hunt bigger monsters. Keep going until there aren't any monsters left to hunt you. I'm going deeper. I'm gonna find what shot us down and I'm gonna tear its damn heart out. I started the prep work. The kids taught me how to make enameled glass. I've started stockpiling metal ores to build myself a sea moth. I'll raid the indoor grow beds before I leave. Mad. Like, this whole thing is mad. I just lost my sea moth. This woman sounds like she's just gonna leave them. Even though, like, the guy just taught, or the little kid just taught her how to do stuff. But yeah, so next episode, I've got some kind of aim now. We get another seam off made because we all saw what happened to my one. It had stuff in the, it had stuff stored in it. I guess I can go back down there, hopefully. There's... I mean, that's quite easy to make, I guess. But man, got a little rifle on the way, propulsion cannon done. I didn't even build a battery charge I was supposed to do today. I didn't build a scanner room I was supposed to do today, because everything just went mental. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this series, this episode, sorry. If you have enjoyed, please leave a like on it. As always, you can comment any feedback on the episode. Much appreciated. I may miss it because I'm recording ahead. Um, but you'll see me update uh, from the comments in about one or two episodes. Um, so yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Keep supporting the series like the way you are, because it's been awesome so far. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. I'm a Marcus, bear excitement, like it's a circus. Wanna see more exciting things? Check my YouTube channel or circus. If you hear something in my bar, you think I didn't even know that I said. Boy, better know when I'm on the mic and I speak, better know that I said it on purpose. That's right, I'm a Marcus, saying it again. Pass me a pen. Black truth's gonna make truth right, past them on the stars, turns gray like gems. Yeah, haters gonna hate, you can't stop them, fam.